morning everyone. My name is Kidashi and if you are new to this channel, welcome. Uh, so this will be my first vlog. I don't quite know how to do a vlog but um, please leave it down in the comment below because I have a plenty, plenty more to learn. And yeah, uh, right now it's 10, 11, 11 a.m. and I woke up quite late today so I uh, haven't had my breakfast yet and we're gonna go down, check whatever food that's down there. So now I'm gonna be making some hot water for the coffee. So for today, I'll be making drip coffee. That's my favorite drink to start up to start my day. And the coffee that I'm using for filter uh, for uh, filter drip coffee is roasted coffee by at uh, Ethiopia Beans, you know, your Kurabiki or Romea. I bought it from Beam, which is a coffee shop at uh, Kapong. If I'm not mis mistaken, so I'm gonna pour sixteen grams. I mean twelve grams for one sh for one shot. Okay. After that, I'll take this, pour it into this machine. This is a grinder. After that, the settings you have to set to either uh, it's medium to fine in between, so you gotta find that sweet spot. And here I'm gonna set to and start the grinding. So the things I'm gonna use for drip coffee is this uh, funnel and also this one. So if you guys are interested on how to make drip coffee. I'll put, uh, I have already made a tutorial on how to make it drip coffee. So I'll put the link in the description for you guys to check it out. Take this. Oh, it's on top. This, this is important because this step removes the papery taste from the filter paper. Say hi. Say hi. Mm -hmm. Here we are done. Okay. 
And ta-da! So, few days ago, I injured my foot while I was jogging. I was jogging at night, so that, that is also why I injured my foot. Mm, the reason why I jog at night, because I came back from my hometown, which is uh, Malacca. I ate a lot, so I have that sudden urge of motivation to burn all those food, the calories away. So uh, it's a bad idea and never going to do that again. So it's been like, I injured it last Sunday, so it's, it's like uh, six days or about a week. Now that my foot is almost recovered, I should say, because I don't have to rely on the crutches anymore. So, but it's still swollen, and the moment when I put pressure on it, it still hurts. Like, uh, like you know, those kind of treatments. I mean, not treatments. Like those stones on the on the on the play in the playground. Yeah, for you to walk on. Uh, it that kind of hurts. Um. So yeah, since I my my foot doesn't feel that pain anymore, I could do some light exercise, and I'll show you guys in a minute. So this is my foot. The foot I'm injured is obviously you can see the right foot, which is still swollen. Uh, we got a drain. Yeah, and normally they would have a concrete slab on it, but apparently the concrete slab I think it broke, it cracked, and so it fell down, make, making a dent over there. And I didn't see because it was at night and it's dark. So I fell inside. My whole foot I think just went like that. So here's swollen, like I sprained the toes, so I could barely move on day one because it's kind of numb, but right now I can do some light lifting. And I'll do this, keep doing this for a while after that I'll rest, and this is the first exercise that I'm going to do. For the second exercise, I'm going to be using a towel. So after putting the towel down, I'm going to start using my toes and pull the towel in slowly because uh, it still hurts. I'm gonna be moving my toes outwards and inwards so it's like out, out. Okay. And the last exercise I'm gonna do is moving my toes like that. I don't think I'm able to do but I'll, I'm gonna try my best. I'm back from after having my breakfast and also making coffee. My coffee, I made drip coffee and then I put a milk ice cube inside it. So right now I'm about to go out and I'm going to apply this counter pain cream which is very effective against muscular reliefs, swollen and stuff. And yeah, I already got some on my hand. Yeah, it's good. And done. Thank <laughs> you. 
This is Black Pond. <laughs> Vlogging. This is Jantung. I'm back after going out for a durian feast at TTDI. So I've ate three types of durian just now. The first one being black thorns, second jantong, third is musang king. So let's start with the first one, black thorns. Black thorns are the king of king of durian. Their texture is quite creamy. They are sweet and brings a little bit of bitterness. They are I can I can say they are better than musang king, because. They kind of balance, they have the balance between the sweetness and the bitterness that Musang King doesn't have. Um, so I have ate um, black thorns before in Penang. So the one there is actually nicer than the one here. I don't know, it's kind of underwhelming that when I compared this to Penang. But it's kind of like a hit or miss. So I don't mind it actually because of the texture. It's very creamy. I, I'm very satisfied. Absolutely love it. And the second one is jantong. The jantong is kind of like ex, uh, tastes like exo, which is a kind of alcohol. I don't know if you guys know it or not, but yeah, it uh, it's kind of hard, kind of harder texture compared to black tons. But every durian has their own unique. So moving on to Busan King, I highly bet that you guys everyone knows this because it's the king of durians. So Busan King and uh, durians at TDDI are high quality. I'm pretty sure you guys can also try it out their durian, durian chendo. And I don't know, because just now they have like one uh, roti chanai um, grill. I don't know how you call that. I think they are making roti chanai durian. I'm not sure, but I uh, would suggest you guys, recommend you guys to try it out. So please leave your comment down below on whether you love durian or not. So right now it's... Uh... 11.44pm, it's getting late and I still gotta do some video editing. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. And I hope you all have a nice day and see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.